You know, we get spoilt with very nice mods quite often in Farming Simulator, whether they come through giants or not. And every once in a while, there's just one that makes it through that you're like, <laughs> no. What's going on everybody? DJ No Steering Wheel here. What's going on? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are taking this tractor that is uh, hopefully not finished yet. I don't know <laughs> whose mod this is, but it's there's just all kinds of issues with it, aren't there? Yeah, yeah, there are. So we're just going to put that right there and get rid of it as fast as possible. So we have some more John Deere mods that I've decided to add. So you guys were asking about an STS with duels. Boom, there it is, the 9750 with duels. A couple of you guys were asking about a new 8R, one of the big ones. Bam, there you go. Triples on the back, doubles in the front. More people were asking about 7000 series, so we've added two more. We've added the 7610 and 7700 right here with the skinny front end on there. So we need to get all these back over to the main farm. Some of this stuff will go down to the classic farm. Some will stay up top with all the newer equipment. We'll see what's going where. We've got everything back over the main farm now, and we've got some stuff that we need to do today. One of those things is taking the liquid fertilizer down, and we've got to fertilize one of the grass fields. I think this was a 35. Yeah, 35, because on 34, we're pretty much taking that entire area up. So we're jumping down to 35, and I've got everything kind of in line already down there. We're going to be doing hay bales today. And I've got four different John Deere tractors lined up, ready to rock and roll. You may see them in front of you right now. Oh, I'm so excited to get these guys rock and roll. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but hey, something happened. Let's get this unlocked and jump back in. There we go. What hit us? We hit something, didn't we? Goodness gracious, I don't know what that was. Come on, get through there. So what do we got? We got a couple different 7000 series, and of course we got the 4440 right there. Everything's lined up. Oh man! Uh, something's definitely not right here. Oh me, oh my, oh man, oh no, 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 no. What's going on? This is what you get when you use mods that aren't exactly in game. You guys can see I'm having a bit of a hard time right now goodness something is on me that was rough that was real rough through there well what we need to do is i need to get in and fertilize this field now the problem is i don't actually know where the field is and where the boundaries are so i'm kind of hoping that we could see you may even be able to see it from up top some of it is turning darker colors than the rest of it this is the way the field goes Maybe we should watch this. Actually, that's not going to help at all, is it? I can kind of see from the lighter areas to the darker areas, but this is super difficult once a grass field has already grown. So if you guys are doing something like this, just make sure you grow the thing the whole way. I don't know what's gotten a hold of this thing. When it was working, it was fine. I folded it back up and it started going... So that's where we're at now. So I'm not going to touch it. I don't even care. I'm just leaving it there. What we do want to do is jump in this guy right here. This is going to be our mower for today, the 7610. We have the modded Pottinger on the front and the 10 meter modded Pottinger on the back. Oh yeah, let's go ahead and get these set up. Lower, good, right there. Get this lower down as well. Let's get this thing turned on. So I'm actually not going to be doing a swath with these. We're just going to be going straight because I'm going to come back through later on and we're going to tet this all up. So let's turn that on. Let's turn that on and roll through. There we go. So I don't know how fast we're going to be able to go with this. Maybe 13 miles an hour. I was worried that this wasn't going to have enough horsepower to do this. But it seems like it's going just fine. So I wanted to get in here and do some farming with the old John Deere stuff. I think this... Oh, we're starting to slow down a little bit. I don't think it's going to do very well with these hills right here. But you know what? We're going to push it forward anyway. So step one and two, I guess. I don't know getting this mowed up. Now that the mowing is done, that's step what two, I guess what it was. Now we can get in here and start tedding. So we'll say that mower did not have fun doing this. Not at all, not in the least bit. It hated every minute of it. It was actually very difficult to get in and out of here. Uh, but you know what? 
it worked and it happened. So I'm happy about that. Now, let's get this down. Now, the great thing about this tether right here that sets it apart from every other tether is it will fast farm. And that is a very, very, very good thing. You may not think too much about that, but that is a massive thing. Because look at this. We're tedding super fast. Now, of course, in real life, you can go about as fast as you want up to a certain point. I wouldn't recommend going this fast in real life, but you know what? We could go as fast as we want here because that's a video game. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's hard to remember that sometimes, but that's why we're here to have fun and enjoy ourselves and drive around these awesome tractors right here. Which one was this again? This is the brand new one that we just got. Yeah, the 7700. This one is a nice tractor. It's doing a really good job doing this too. This is not crazy demanding by any means. Yeah, we are way, way further than we were whenever I was mowing. My goodness. So I think the average speed going uphill while I was mowing, probably no more than about six or seven miles an hour. I think I hit eight at one point. Uh, going downhill, of course, we hit right at 13. Ooh, a little laggy getting behind those trees right there. Let's see if we can get a little higher, uh, higher look right here. Ooh, bouncing around back there. May have to go back through there and ted that up again so that the grass and the uh, hay doesn't get mixed up. That is not always good. Sometimes you'll pop out a grass bale even though you're going for hay bales, which again is what we're going for here today. We're going for hay bales, not grass bales. So I am going to go back the other way just to double check. Cut some lights on as well. See if we can see something. This is actually, I'm looking at my uh, OBS screen right now. The OBS screen, whoa. <laughs> It is way brighter on there, and that's exactly what you guys are seeing right now as well. Let's see. We'll come through here nice and slow. Hit some of this grass that we got. Easy. Easy does it. There we go. Okay. I think we've hit all that. Cool. Let's finish up tedding. Then it's time to windrow. Next is the one that you guys want to see. This is the 4440 right here. A lot of you guys were saying in the last video, this was the first tractor that you ever learned how to drive right here. I thought that was one of the coolest things ever. So how about this? Question of the day. You guys know we like doing these. What was the first tractor you ever drove? Or if you've never driven a tractor before, what's the first thing that you learned how to drive? Maybe it's a uh, maybe it's a car. Maybe it's a lawnmower. Maybe it was a golf cart. Let me know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Mine? Mine was a tractor. First thing I ever learned how to drive was a old International. And I loved every minute of it. There is one thing that we need to do with this. So... I don't know if we're actually going to be able to set ourselves up for this or not. Drop it down. I don't even know if this is going to work. But I need to send as much to the right as I can. So I need to bring this up. Working mode. See, it's going to do that maybe. This is the stinkiest part about this because I can't actually change the work mode. As you can see, this is one of the problems with this since day one that's never been fixed. Giants. I know you guys are out there somewhere. Please just change it up for me. There we go. Working right. Boom. And go. Now, most of this should pop out to the right. If I am not mistaken, some of it is getting missed. We'll try to come back through in, in a little while and get... Oh, we're missing a whole lot. Holy cow. Uh, can we please have that? Is it? Is it getting it? It's getting it, but... Man, it missed a lot. Slash is missing a lot. What's the deal there? It is down, right? Yeah, it's down. <laughs> it's just missing some. Man, oh man, oh man. Swath mode right, but it's missing pretty much all of that. So I'm going to try to overlap some of this, see if we can get all this in. So what I'm doing right now is we're coming through, spitting it all off to the right. The next time around, we'll turn around. We'll come the same way, so we'll spit two different rows into the same swath, which should make it nice and easy for us. And then we'll just come back through again over and over and over again doing that. Uh, and actually, I'll show you guys what I mean as soon as we get down to the end of this. And we quit missing stuff. <laughs> so irritating. Yeah, once we get all this done, we're going to have to get one of our cheaty balers to come through and bail the rest of this up or collect it, one of the two. That's going to be the only other option. I think I've noticed if it's not completely flat it just doesn't pick it up and that is very very unfortunate and slightly very irritating there's that okay so i said i was going to show you guys how to do this the other way so we finished our first pass okay so let's get this raised up and i'm basically going to turn it around so we're still spitting out to the right 
And we'll drop it about right there, turn it on. And I'm going to overlap just a hair from where we were so that we still drop right there. So you can see I'm kind of picking up the swath a little bit and some of the hay that's in the field as well. What this is going to do is basically saves me from having to come through here and do it all whenever we are bailing up. Speaking of bailing, we're going to need to do that next. And the 4440 is all done here. A little glitchy is still trying to figure out what exactly is going on because this is the only map that I've got that's giving me glitchy problems. And it's a problem. Oh, it's a big problem. Speaking, we've got a big problem because we've got a bunch of hay on the ground that did not get windrowed up. What's up with that? There's a lot of issues going on right now. I'm not really sure what is happening, but I know this. <laughs> we got more work to do. You know, it's interesting. On my screen, it's perfectly fine. It's on the recording screen that it's like, hey, I don't I don't know what you thought you were doing, but I could tell you what I'm going to do. Not, not let you do anything. Here's another thing. Uh, so I told you guys that we were having issues getting everything to pick up. Well, I'm going to go through here and just see if I can get any of this to pick up. And wouldn't you know it, it's picking it up. So... Again, I don't know what's going on, but there's something that isn't quite right with this that's causing issues not only for me, but for the map in general. Again, I don't know what it is, can't tell you what it is. Oh, today's just a day of problem. Like, what? everything went perfect yesterday, and then we roll in, it's like, you know what? Yesterday was too good. Today, we're going to mess it all up. Why does it gotta be like that? I'm still missing everything, guys. So guess what we're bringing out? That's right, this guy right here. And guess what? For some reason, everything's being gotten. And that's kind of what I wanted to begin with. Didn't really even need all these uh, windrows here, but it's working nonetheless. So what do we got here? <laughs> we've got this bad boy right here, the 8960. Pretty much the biggest, baddest boy that we've got on this classic farm. Uh, I'm not going to go through and try to pick up a bunch of different windrows. I just want to come through and pick up all of this extra stuff on the sides. Everything that was being missed, everything that was not being picked up before, that's the stuff that I want. I want that stuff. So that's why I got this. Again, I'm, this time around, really not trying to cheat too much. I just wanted to get the empty parts. <laughs> Well, what are we doing with these hay bales? Well, we're actually going to be taking these over to the Case Farm. So the Case Farm gave the John Deere Farm a call and said, hey, I need those. I said, all right, we can take care of that for you. So we're going to have to figure out a way to load these up and get them moved over. Now, we've got a lot of different ways, but which one is going to be the best for us? I've got it. It took me a couple minutes to put it together and figure out exactly which trailer we we're going to go with. But I forgot we have an auto load Flegel trailer now. And guess what? I made, did I get the right tires on this? Did I get trailer borgs? Don't tell me I got trailer borg tires on here. Should have got lizard. I think these are lizard. All right. So <laughs> we have 30 bales, There's stuff everywhere over here. We've got 30 bales and guess what? This holds 30 bales. I was like, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. So let's see if we can swing this. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. There we go. I wanted to use this again, and I'm glad we get to. Let's go into the help window real fast just to make sure that we've got everything. Let's go into operating position and boom it out. And we should just be able to roll through this entire field and load up these hay bales. This is great. Gosh, I love this so much. I am so happy. Let me know if you guys, A, remembered that we had this trailer before I did. And B, have you ever used this trailer? I know we had another question today, but you know, if you guys are here, let me know. Also, if you are digging this classic John Deere farm that we got going on, we're going to be doing some more stuff with it over the next couple days. Uh, my goal is to do the seasons like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then do this like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Of course, Saturdays and Sundays, we've also got another series as well. Sometimes that'll go between Doll Ranch. Sometimes we'll take a trip back to a different series that we had before. Maybe it's something else that we were doing entirely. Uh, it'd be nice to go back to Peterville again. I wonder if Peterville will ever get a seasons update. I don't know. It's going to be a good question, but it'd be nice to see if uh, Peterville could get at that or just jump on Grower's Farm. I think that'd be so much fun. This should be it right here. 
boop, 30 bales. That's awesome. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So let's see. I know that there is a way through here. Now, way, way back when we actually came through here. Gosh, we're going fast. Slow it down, baby. Slow it down. Uh, way, way back when we actually came through here and I created a way through the woods. Now, let me know if that's something that you guys would like to see again. Uh, again, we've already done that. So I don't know if that's something that you would want to see again or not. But there's a lot of different areas through here where we could do that. But unfortunately for us, we're not going to be able to do that today because there's no way through there. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Let me know if you want me to do that tomorrow. We are going to go around to the left right here. <laughs> me and Mustang Man have gotten stuck way too many times through here. <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to go through here through Dave's Tasty Burgers. At least I think that's who it is. Is that who this is? Dave's Tasty Burgers? Is that correct? Tacos! <laughs> it's a... Uh, does that say bienvenidos? Yep. The tacos that buy what? By Taco Farmer. Of course it is. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anybody coming? Is traffic off? No. Did I turn traffic off? I did. Why did I turn traffic off? Traffic engage. We made it all the way here without any issues whatsoever. No problems. However, we're going a little fast. Slow it down, baby. Slow it down. So. The Case Farm has asked me if I could help in feeding the sheep. I was like, well, yeah, sure, absolutely. So they actually did the honors of going and picking up our telehandler for us off of our farm. And we've got some new spikes for it as well. I was like, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's pull it up right here. Let's take a look at the sheep real quick just to see what they need. So they're going to need a whole lot. We may even be able to feed them everything off of here. So... Let's take this and let's drop it right here. Boom. And let's turn it off. One thing I am going to need to do is go ahead and attach all of these guys. And we'll come through one by one because I know we're, we're going to mess this up real bad. Is that in the middle? Well, that was in the middle. Look at that. That was pretty cool. Let's see. So I guess, let's see. So there's that. I think this is probably in the middle as well. Actually, these are all in the middle, aren't they? Yes, they are. There we go. Okay. So that's going to make doing this a whole lot easier. We know we've got five stacks. Let's go over here. Let's pick this up to in a little bit of an issue area. Let's jump in here. This is going to be cool. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be coming to console or not officially. Uh, that official statement has not been made. However, I'm hoping it is for us. I'm really hoping it is because if it is, we're going to be using this a whole lot more. Uh, be honest with you, the only reason that I don't use this a whole lot is just, uh-oh, <laughs> is just because it's not available everywhere, and I don't want to just use a bunch of stuff that's not available to everybody. Uh, you guys know, even though I do when we play on PC, I do try to use stuff that everybody can use. All right, nice and easy. There's that. Perfect. That was very smooth. Very, very smooth. So let's get this done. First things first. Let's unattach. Oh, this is dangerous. This is real dangerous. This should be able to get all of them just fine. I think it is. It could probably hold four if we really wanted it to, but this is going to be plenty. There we go. Easy does it. Let's go ahead and tilt it back so that in case we tear anything up, we'll be good to go. I did try putting a weight on this whenever we first bought it, but I was having nothing but issues. Ah, that's going to be a problem. This is legit the only thing with a bucket on it. Uh, is this going to put a dent in this at all? Uh, you know what? It, it might. It might actually do well. Come straight through there. Yeah, this, is, <laughs> this bucket holds a little bit, doesn't it? Look at that, rolling right through like it's nothing. How much does this little bucket hold? I don't think I've ever maxed this thing out before. You know what? Today's the day, man, today is the day. Let's max this bucket out. Let's see exactly what this thing will hold. There's 1,100 liters so far. Uh, That should do it, yep, 2,000 liters. So that, this turned out to be not only a great option, but hilarious as well. Oh me, oh my. All right, let's, I guess, roll through here and finish cleaning up. There's one run. Spin this bad boy around, and the turning is just impeccable. I mean, I don't know if you've ever driven one of these invisibly. There we go. Uh, 
but the driving it's great with this thing it's not no it's it's not at all all right is that the last bit gonna go no nah, last bit's not gonna go unfortunately how's about this we're gonna do this the easy way we're coming through here and we're just gonna smooth that out there we go perfect now to get bring all the bills back in here here we are let's see is it gonna work it's a working and it's working great how many do we have on here 30 bills yeah i think we can get this thing unfolded and folded unloaded in no time it's taken a little bit longer than i would like if i'm honest but i mean it's it's all right actually not too bad at all not too bad at all dump this and then our sheep should be good let's double check and see how are they doing Hey, we're almost up to the top. That was, oh gosh, that was a lot. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you had fun. If you did, please drop a like. All right, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. And uh, if there's anything else that you want to see here, let me know. I've got a pretty good idea of where we're going with this series. I'm having a good time. Why did I turn that off? But nonetheless, if there's anything that you want to see, let me know. I do read the comments. Uh, there's just some stuff that I can't do. Those of you asking about Lone Oak, at least at the time of recording, nothing has been mentioned yet of is this coming out, when is it coming out, that kind of thing. So just keep that in mind. Nobody knows yet. I think we're going to see Welker Farms in testing before we see this in testing. But with all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. Peace.